I've received a lot of questions from people who have asked me why is it so important to learn pointers. And the truth is it really is important to learn pointers. Pointers are among the most fundamental topics any aspiring programmer should learn. So in this lesson I'm just going to talk to you about why that is. It has been said in many books and by many students that pointers are one of the most difficult subjects to master in programming. And for this reason, I've been taking this subject very slow and I hope that everyone has been able to understand the material so far and of course please let me know if that's not the case. You might be wondering though why I am spending any time at all on pointers. Why do you need to see what is at some memory address of a variable that is already at that address. In other words, can't you just look at the variable? First of all, I promise you that every lesson I have done throughout this course is something that will be useful to you as a programmer. Every lesson is also a prerequisite for being able to do something greater. Think of it like this. I had to teach you binary before I could teach you about how data is encoded like ASCII characters for example. At the time, why anyone would ever need to know how to count in binary was a mystery, but now it's probably a lot more clear. It's the same with pointers. If you know pointers, you will be able to create programs, games, and applications that you simply would not be able to make if you didn't know pointers there is an enormous chasm of programmer skill between programmers who truly know and understand pointers and programmers who do not. Now I want to show you just how fundamental pointers really are. If you are reading this text, you are reading it on a monitor and that monitor is redrawing itself approximately 60 to 70 times per second. Every time your monitor redraws itself, a pointer, exactly like the pointers we have been talking about, is scanning through your video memory and replacing it with new data. This is in fact what makes your screen change. Every application that ever draws, writes, or otherwise makes any changes to what is, what is displayed on your screen uses pointers to do it. If you have ever used a graphics program which had an eyedropper tool where you could select a color just by clicking on it, it determined the color you wanted using a pointer scanning your drawing in memory to see what color was stored at that specific memory location. In fact, the entire drawing exists as a data structure in memory. All of the drawing, erasing, or anything, anything else you do in an art program uses pointers to do it. Programs that play sound or music files work by having a pointer look at the start of the sound in memory play a sound which is itself a data structure requiring a pointer and then the pointer goes through the data to the end of the song. The same thing is true for movies. Every program you have ever used, game or application, requires pointers to read and manipulate memory constantly. Pointers are the only way that you can see and understand any data that is greater than a few bytes in size. This is the fundamental point that I want you to understand. Pointers make it possible to read and manipulate data in memory which is larger and more complex than a simple data type like int or care. And that pretty much means everything. Pointers are one of the most fundamental concepts in all of computing and properly understood they empower you to do just about anything. Without them you can do almost nothing. In other words, the real question is not when do you use pointers? The real question is when do you not use pointers? 
This course has barely started and we're going to be getting into a great many more details later but right now I want you to have just a glimpse of why pointers are so important and why you should truly be taking the time to master this material. If any aspect of these lessons on pointers is difficult for you or if you're stuck please let me know and I'll be glad to help you out.